I thought I'd just quickly come on and talk about my blow dry that I did yesterday. I had a lot of questions about it. Um, I literally used the 20ml barrels all over. Anybody who's not familiar with the 20ml, they only come in one length, that's the long, and they're super skinny, so they're amazing for keeping your curls in if you're struggling to hold your curls. Um, what I did yesterday, and I'll do the same again this morning, um, I literally used my Colorwell Cocktail and Dream Coat all over and then my hair is probably about 70% dry. I think the damper it is the better but again if it's too damp you'll struggle to get the barrels to grab your hair so don't panic if not just sort of ruffle them up a bit and then they'll grab the barrels a lot better and I literally go in all over high speed medium heat all the same direction so obviously for this side, um, I use the one with the arrow face in a way. So if you're not familiar with the arrows, when you look in the mirror, have the arrow face in a way from your face. Those will all go back, all the way to the back. And then obviously I'll switch sides to do the other side. And then at the end, um, what I do is I usually turn my head upside down, ruffle all the curls up. And then literally, once I've done that, is just get the palms of my hand and I just pull them over the top. I never ever brush my curls so I use the palms of my hands no product and it just created those deep waves and they stayed in all day even last night they still look really nice and I brushed them through last night and they went into real deep waves and they actually look really nice so if you're struggling to get your curls to hold invest in the 20s every time.
Okay, so there's my finished 20ml barrels all over. So I've done the right hand going that way and the left hand going that way. Um, try and let them set as long as you can. I don't tend to because I'm doing it every day. So I don't worry too much if they don't hold for the next day. But try and let them set if you can and make sure it's fully dry. So this will probably be a good time to leave them like this. Go and get your breakfast um or do what you've got to do do a few jobs do your hoovering or whatever so what i would do at this stage this is how i create my deep waves so i tend to chuck my head upside down i'll just show you chuck my head upside down literally get my fingers right in at the roots so that it looks like that so some people like that kind of 70s diana ross look which you can get away with anything these days uh, but what I would do now and this kind of gets better over the next sort of 10 or 15 minutes so what I would do at this stage I'd just ruffle it up and then I would just do this with my hands just pull it through and quite firm with it that's why you need to let your curls set quite nice and tightly and then just drag it through I never ever ever brush my curls only just before I go to bed at night I find if I brush them, they either go a little bit fluffy or they can feel like they're going to drop out quicker, especially if you've got straight hair. So just pull them, but be quite firm with them. And like I said, that that's my initial look. If you have any bits that you feel like the curls started to pull out a little bit, just pop your... So like if you just felt like you pulled that fringe through a little bit too much, don't be afraid, the curl will come back. Just pop your barrel back through and then just pull it through again. So if you have any bits that you feel you want to look a little bit tighter or a bit of a stronger wave, like that's just added a slightly stronger wave that side. So over the next five or ten minutes, I'll just go back to that. I'm just going to pop another little curl back in there. So just fiddle with it a bit, really. This is the bit that actually makes all the difference to your final style, I think. And I think a lot of people don't know how to dress their hair out so like I said I'll just fiddle with that and the only thing I'll put on it now once that's settled you can see that's already going into those deep waves so you kind of almost get a beachy wave but without having the hassle of doing the beach waves um what I would do now once that's settled I'll get my Paul Mitchell freeze and shine I do like a little bit of height in my crown so I'll do that with my crown then I'll spray it um let that set and then I'll do the same with the sides. I'll just spray those and then I'll do the same on that side. Always check the back and then once it's dry again, just lift that crown again and just do the same again. But don't mess with the spray too much while it's dry and let it fully dry before you redo that. But you can see it's already starting to develop those deep waves. <laughs> 